Hello, everybody. Welcome to your Tuesday evening Facebook Live. My name is Sarah Edwards. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator, and I come to you guys live every Tuesday and Thursday at 7 to show you a fun new project. So last Thursday, I totally spaced that it was Halloween, and I literally said to myself, you need to post something on Facebook to say that you're not going to be live. And I said it probably 15 times, and then I got distracted and totally spaced doing it. And then at like eight o'clock when we finally got home, I was going to post something and then I forgot again. And then it was a crazy retreat or not retreat weekend, um, card class weekend. And then we left out of town Sunday morning. So um, I apologize for leaving everybody hanging on Halloween. I'm assuming everybody knew it was Halloween and they weren't super traumatized over it, but I did feel really bad. So I wanted to apologize about that. But I am here today and hopefully... You guys had a good weekend. Um, Bo and I left Sunday morning and we drove to Idaho so I could have a little bit of dental work done. So if I am talking a little weird, it's okay. I'm, I'm totally okay. It's just my mouth. So we are going to get through this and continue our crafting. Okay, let's point you over because today's card is a moment. We're only going to make one of them. So I am using the Reindeer Fun Set. Let me pull up my iPad just to make sure we are live, which I think we are. But I just want to double check. There we go. Okay, let's see. Hello, Heather. Welcome. Thanks for joining. So Reindeer Fun, we actually used this designer series paper in card class on Saturday, and everybody loved the little reindeers. I should have brought the designer series paper over. I totally spaced it. It's sitting on my desk. But I have not seen a reindeer set like this in a long time. So I literally got it as soon as I could. So you have the three pieces where you can create your own reindeer. You can die cut the reindeer out of the designer series paper. Or you can stamp them, color them, and die cut. So... And it is such a massive set. I actually had to put some on the back so we could, um, as all the dies wouldn't fit on one sheet. It actually comes in two sheets, but I like to have everything on one. So that is the dies. And this is the stamp set, Reindeer Fun. We use the Merry Christmas in card class. Today we're gonna be doing the May Your Days Be Full of Cheer. So it's on page 27. The little peppermints are on back order right now. I do believe they come in another week or so. And I've used the embossing folder, the Forever Plaid. I've used that a ton of times in um, classes and even our Facebook Live. And then they have the little book treat box. So you can get it as a sweet collection or you can get things individually, however you like. And then on the next page or the page over, they have examples of how to use the stamp set and dice. Okay, let's bring in all of the fun products. Hello, Joan, welcome. So this is an online exclusive. It's called Festive 12 by 12 Glimmer Paper. So you get Garden Green, Granny Apple Green, and Real Red. Apparently these are the only colors I have left. I do have multiple packs because I'm using a ton of this. So here's your Real Red. Here is the Garden Green and then the Granny Apple Green. So it is definitely a fun glimmer paper. If anybody, if you guys do know me, you know I love my glimmer paper. So there's the glimmer paper. I did bring in the Snowflake 3D embossing folder. So we're going to do a little bit of embossing. And then we are also going to be doing a little bit of heat embossing on this card as well. And I cannot wait to show you guys. I actually did see this online. So this wasn't my original design. And I can't remember the lady's name. I think it was Missy. Missy something um, created this card. And I thought it was absolutely adorable. So I thought I'd recreate it. I did add the embossing folder to this card. So there it is. And I love all the little glitter paper on the bottom. Okay, let's get started. So what you're gonna need is a piece of Night and Navy. This is eight and a half by five and a half and I scored it at four and a quarter. 
I have two pieces that are matching in size. They are four by five and a quarter, and this is night and navy, and this one is basic white. This one is gonna go on the inside of our card base. And then I have a piece of our basic white. It's three and three fourths by five, and I went ahead and die cut the center out of this prior to going live. Um, I am gonna show you a little tip and trick how to do this super easy. When you have little tiny dies that have delicate pieces to it, I love doing this trick. So I'm gonna show you guys that trick in a second. Um, we're gonna do a little bit of cutting down on this one, um, but we're not gonna do it quite yet. So let's start with your four by five and a quarter piece of night and navy. So I have these in my house. I actually don't use fabric softener sheets in my clothes any longer. Um, after I started going to this new, um, I call her my face lady, not endocrinologist. Anyway, my face lady, um, she said that fabric softeners can clog your pores. So I've stopped using them, but I still have 250 sheets and I think you got a two pack. So I had 500 sheets of dryer sheets that I didn't know what to do with. But this is my little trick to show you guys. So if you take a dryer sheet and you lay your paper on top of it and you lay your die wherever you're gonna cut it, it is going to keep all of the little tiny pieces on the dryer sheet where you don't have to poke out all of these little delicate pieces. So let's see how well it works on my live. Usually when I try something, it doesn't work on the live and I swear I just did it. And I want to tell you, I have pl um, plates that are for dark cardstock and then I have plates that are for light cardstock. So if you're ever finding that when you're doing a lighter color like our basic white and you're getting little tidbits of color on it, Keep one set for darks and the other set for lights, and it will totally help. So you actually got two little tricks. So I'm gonna line this up, kind of, I want a nice edge at the bottom, and I just want a little smidgen up top. And that looks pretty good. So I do have the dryer sheet underneath. And now I'm gonna lay this down, and I'm gonna feed it through. Thank you, Heather. Hello, Stephanie. Hello, Valerie. And I always run it back through. I run it through twice. I don't know if you guys do. Okay, so let's pull this down. We're gonna use that one more time, I think. Maybe two. So now, when I pull all of this up, it will leave. all of your pieces at the bottom. Look at that, oh, there's one tiny little piece, but you know what, I will take one piece any day. And you can reuse this as well. You don't just need to change it out each time. So that's the little trick on that one. I think my iPad just died. That stinks, so I'm not gonna be able to see comments unless I look at my computer. But here we go. So we're still gonna be playing with this one. I am going to grab my Versamark and my embossing buddy, and I just wanna clean off any oils that are on the bottom of my Night and Navy. So I'm gonna gently rub my embossing buddy across the bottom, and I'm gonna bring in, may all your days be filled with cheer. I have to do the embossing in two different steps. So I'm gonna do this one first, and then I'm gonna emboss the card base as well. Heat emboss the card base. So let's bring our powder in. I'm gonna sprinkle it over. And give it a nice little tap, get all that excess off. I just look at it to make sure you have enough powder everywhere. Put the lid back on and move it aside before you bring your heat gun in. You never want to turn your heat gun on while your powder is open. And I don't know if you can hear how loud it is. 
I apologize if you can, but we're just going to heat this up until it melts. And I don't know if you can see it melting on the Facebook Live, but I think it is the coolest look. That is all heated. And now I am going to bring in my 3D embossing folder. And it has a line at the bottom and it says Stampin' Up on the front. That is the front of the embossing folder. So you wanna put the front of your card on that line and that is gonna help keep your snowflakes even across your card. Let's bring back in my machine. It's not a hard card to do, and especially if you're going to do it at an assembly line, it would be super easy. I'm gonna run this through with my 3D plates. Bring it back in and it's stuck. There we go. There you go. Look how cute that looks. I just love it. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, my original card, I only put dimensionals on the deer and the presents, but this time I think I want to dimension this layer up as well. So I'm gonna bring in the basic white layer and I'm just gonna glue this off-centered a smidgen. Now, if it is gonna hang over any of the like sides of your Knight and Navy, we can just flip it over and trim it off. That's why I didn't wanna just glue it down right away. So I'm just going to put some adhesive on the basic white piece. And usually you're gonna flip it over, but this one we're not going to. We're just gonna do it right on the fronts, if I can get my glue to work. Well, all else fails. Grab your needle. There, that was a big booger in there. There we go, much nicer. I'm gonna set that down. And I just wanna offset it a little bit. Not too much, but I wanna do it just enough so you can see the white poking through. Okay. And uh, looks like right there we could trim off a smidgen, but honestly, I really don't even think it would be necessary. You can hardly even see it. There we go. So now I'm gonna set this aside and bring in my card base. And I just wanna eyeball where, let's fold it so it's a little bit easier to see just the half of it. So I'm just gonna kind of eyeball where I want to do my white embossing. So it's gonna be right here in the center. So I'm gonna take this off and rub my embossing buddy just to get all of the oils off of it. Grab my Bursa Mark. And I have my stars. So I'm just going to stamp this in around, kind of the center area. And it is hard to see. So there's that one. And then I'm gonna come in and I'm actually gonna lean a little bit closer so I can see where it's missing some embossing. And I think that might be good. So put that away, bring in my whites. I'm gonna sprinkle the powder on my card base. I don't think I've ever heat embossed on my actual card base. I've always done it on a separate piece. I am filling it up pretty good, and then I will dump it. It is so pretty. 
And you can see I missed a couple right here. So just add a little bit more. You can add as much powder as you need to it until you heat it. Perfect. Put my spoon away so I have it ready for next time. And I am gonna take it and flick the back of the card on the floor just so I don't have any excess embossing powder anywhere that I don't want it. And then grab your sheet gun. I'm gonna keep this up. Oh, this is so magical watching this. I could actually heat and boss all day long. It is that much fun. There we go. I think we're done. So now I can put this on top of it. Isn't that so cute? I'm actually in love with this card. So I am gonna put quite a few dimensionals on here. You can put as much as you want or as little as you want. But this guy is pretty heavy. Um, let's do one more on each side, just for giggles. He is not going anywhere, I promise you. I'm gonna peel the backing off. And you don't have much, you don't have any wiggle room. I shouldn't say you don't have much. You don't have any wiggle room. So you need to make sure to get this super straight. And now that I have night and navy on top of night and navy, I see another little smidgen of white hanging off. So I'm gonna stand on my tiptoes so I can see over my camera. There we go. That is actually gorgeous just by itself without anything else on there. But let's do a little bit of stamping. So I have a piece of basic white and I have my memento. I'm just gonna stamp my deer. Thank you, Stephanie. And then I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna stamp in real red his collar. Sorry, I have to make sure it's positioned right. Okay, that looks pretty good. And because we are on a Facebook Live, there's a lot of magic that happens. And I am just going to show you some magic right now. Look at that. It is already die cut and everything for us. Isn't that crazy? Oh, the love of magic. Okay, so I have my light crumb cake. I'm gonna color all of him in the light crumb cake. And then I'm just gonna take the dark crumb cake and go over some of the spots, some of his little spots on them. I am going to leave the end of his tail white, but I'm going to color the rest of them in. I figured we did a lot of embossing, so I didn't want to have to emboss, die cut the deer as well. We did a lot of die cutting. And usually I prep all of that ahead of time so we can do multiple cards but I wanted to show you the trick with the dryer sheets. That's what this, one of the deer is what I used for the home sign that I made. And that's exactly what I did. I took the whole box of dryer sheets with me on vacation. And that's probably why the box is almost empty because I did so many of them. Oh. I didn't see his deer, his ear up here, and I don't even think I colored his ear on this card. I did not see that little tiny ear right there. There we go. Okay, so now I'm gonna take the dark crumb cake, and I wanna go around kind of the tip of his ear, 
And I want to just do some of these pieces. There we go. And then I have our light bubble bath. And that's just going to go inside of his ear. Easy peasy. This deer did not take much coloring at all. Let's grab some dimensionals. I'm gonna pop him up. And then all we have left to do is add the little presents and our white piece to the inside. There you go. Let's add the white. Perfect. We don't need the green glue anymore. So let me bring in the presents. Now I will give you another little trick on the presents. Glimmer paper, mini glue dots is the only thing that will stick to gl uh, glimmer paper. So if you're going to use your green glue, it's going to not dry it, and it will fall off. So make sure when you are sticking glimmer paper, anything to glimmer paper actually, it's not just glimmer paper to glimmer paper. Anything to glimmer paper needs the mini glue dots. And even if you put a dimensional behind it, you need to put a mini glue dot behind the dimensional as well. Okay, there's those. Flip those guys over. Put some dimensionals on here. And I know I double dimensioned. It's okay though. I don't do it very often. So that one is gonna go there. And this one is gonna go here. I actually was contemplating on putting the little peppermints on there because it is real red, but I didn't want to frustrate anybody because they are on back order. But I really think if you already have them, you should totally use them. And let's put a couple on there. I know your take your pick tool is supposed to be on the end of the tool, but we are going to improvise today. <laughs> he is really, really cute. I actually really like the peppermints on it. So I'm glad I did it. So if you have them, use them. If you don't, send me a message and as soon as they come in back, as soon as they come back in stock, I will order you some or I will definitely let you know when they are back. So there you go. It wasn't super difficult to put together, but I actually think it turned out absolutely gorgeous. Oh, I don't know what happened. I think it turned out absolutely gorgeous. So hopefully you guys like this as much as I did. That is it for tonight. Thank you so much for joining me. If you need any help ordering any of the product that I used tonight, feel free to reach out. If not, I will see everybody on Tuesday or Thursday for another live. Have a great evening and we'll chat with you soon. Bye-bye.